Welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. On Trailer Fitter, I'm going to take you through a little bit about brake pipes and the conditions of them. Okay, checking the condition of your brake pipes, which is your flexes and your metal pipes, is very important. You don't want any nicks or cuts in it or bulges. This is a failure on MOT. So they're worth inspecting very, very carefully and thoroughly. Looking at the UK MOT inspection manual, generally you're looking for room to move without fouling anywhere, kinks, stretching or twisting, chafing, damage or deterioration, condition of the ferrule, and any exposure to heat. And reason for rejection, you can see here what they would reject or, or refuse an MOT certificate on for flexi hoses. On point three, I'll demonstrate this later on a project vehicle. Steel pipes want to be secured properly and they do not want to be chafing on any part of the bodywork or the axles. Where you find multiple piping, it wants to be fixed securely, not rubbing together and not rubbing on a chassis or a component. Any union to a component does not want to be leaking. Any steel piping will not want to be excessively corroded or kinked, as in this case here. You can see the kink up there. Steel pipes are usually fitted from new and they only have a certain amount of life. It's unacceptable for MOT to have pitting on a brake pipe. Generally, as a replacement, Cunifer or Cupra Nickel or Copper will be used. Both materials are malleable, which means they're soft so they can be flared and bent as required. Professional choice is Cupra Nickel, which is a lot harder and has resistance to turning green or corroding like copper does. A favourite failure for MOTs and what testers always look for is corroded brake pipes, so keep this in mind. Generally they also look for the neatness of how brake pipes are made and how the curves and the bends are put in. This is actually quite important because it's still presentation. It would be a cause for rejection if the pipe is kinked, so keep this in mind. So as you can see on the left of the caliper there's very tidy brake pipes made up. Copper brake pipes are a lot cheaper, however they, it's a lot softer and it tends not to be as good to work with. It kinks a lot easier and also it gets jammed up in the unions. If you need to remove a caliper, quite often what will happen is as you turn the nut it will twist the pipe as well. Luckily in this example it's not happening but it often does. What I'm pointing at now is another brake pipe that's been covered with body wax which is quite good for preserving. However what needs to be done quite often is check for corrosion. Now I have a scraper tool here which is from Sealy Tools. It has a very odd head on it. Now this is for scraping, getting round corners and taking the grot off to you so you can see where the corrosion is. All right, It will scrape a pipe very easily and it's a very effective tool especially for MOT preparations or even just for servicing, checking for corrosion as you can see here. This is a private corrosion assessment tool and you can get into very tight places and reach in, scrape the grot off so you can inspect your pipes before an MOT for instance. Generally for an MOT or MOT preparation what I'll do if it has steel pipes is scrape them in the places you know there'll be corrosion and then get some grease or even paint and cover the pipes with it. Greased pipes or painted brake pipes are acceptable for an MOT in the UK. If you'd like a copy of the MOT uh, tester's inspection manual, then there will be a link in the description of this video below. I will add, however, this is only for people who are in the UK, as this is applicable to UK residents only.